Uh, today I want to show you how to make a negative uh, for your cyanotypes. Pretty easy to do. So I'm working in Photoshop and I have this image I shot here with a macro lens and I'm going to bring up my layers over here. Let's move all this stuff over. So yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is like I, color is not going to print and I don't necessarily have to knock it out, but what I can do is go to my um, hue saturation and just pull that up and I'm going to bring saturation all the way over. So I want to see if this image stands alone on its own. Something else I'm going to recommend as well is I would add a brightness contrast mask, layer mask to it and I would bump that up a little bit. In other words, you want to increase the contrast and increase the brightness because I just find when this prints, um, you actually want to have it be a little bit more extreme than what you would normally expect to look at it on the screen. And then the last thing, this has got to be a negative, so um, I'm going to come back over here and grab the invert tool, and I'm going to invert it because it needs to be a negative. So that's pretty much it. Um, when I save this, I'm going to save this as a JPEG uh, to print, and um, I'm going to call this silver cyanotype one and then um, I'll have a folder for you guys to put these in so that you can add them and I'll show you how to print them super easy now um, that's a basic uh, photo uh, negative and then in just a minute I'm going to show you how you can go back in and play around with the idea of adding text and things like that for a combined image um, and I'll do that in the next video